Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be looking into respooling a big ass pool like this one. This is a 2.5 kilo one, which is impossible to store into this drying box. So grab some beer and let's go. Filament spools come in all sorts of sizes, and the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. This is a 750 gram spool, and this is a 2.5 kilo one. Pretty impressive, right? First, let's prepare the filament wire. Next, we need something to spin. So I took my battery powered drill and clamped it on my workbench. Next, we need an adapter for the drill and the spool holder. So I printed one on my Sidewinder X1. I sanded the seams a bit and slapped it onto my chuck. Now grab an empty spool and slap it on. Move it around a bit until it's fairly straight. And while you do that, why don't you smack the subscribe button and help a dude out. Now grab some filament and start to wind it up. It seems easy, but yeah, it's not that easy. And after that fail, I started to get a hang of it. until I screwed up. So I decided to throw it in the oven and call it a day. I preheated the oven to 50 celsius and left it in for the night. Now the next day I decided to try that again. So I took the spacer, I jammed it onto my chuck, grabbed the new spool holder and tried it again. While it looked very promising in the beginning, it all started to get messy very fast. But hey, at least it looks much better than the last one and now I can throw it into my drying box. This was the size of the spool before and with this this cheap hack you can cut down your biggest pools and keep them dry and safe from dust. Thank you for watching guys and in the next video we will be taking a look at the necessary upgrades for your Sidewinder X1. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.